Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhut here with part one of my new Gwyneth Let's Play for Thrones of Britannia. Big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving me early access so that I could start this Let's Play early and thanks to all of you guys that voted on the faction vote over the last week or so. Obviously as you can see Gwyneth won that vote. Fear not though, I'll be doing some of the other factions in Thrones of Britannia in future Let's Play series here on the channel. I will also be doing a Wessex or West Saxa Let's Play on my Twitch channel www.twitch.tv forward slash LionheartX10. That'll be starting in a few days time. I'll also be recording that series and uploading it to YouTube irregularly as well. Also from next Monday, um, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday will be when I upload this series, Gwyneth. You'll actually get another upload of this series tomorrow and on Friday. So plenty of Gwyneth content coming at you over the next few days. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already so that you don't miss any of this content. Now if you're new to the channel, um, I do hour specials every 10 episodes. However, today's episode, just so that we can get stuck in and take a good look at all the content in Thrones for this first part, today's episode will also be an hour long. And I also offer you guys the opportunity for an early hour special at part 5 if we can hit 2,000 likes on the first four episodes of a series. Uh, so if parts 1, 2, 3 and 4 of this series can get 2,000 likes on each, then part 5 will be an early hour special. If not, it'll be 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes anyway, which is the sort of normal length of my videos. It is of course completely optional, so if you don't want to leave a like, that's totally fine. If you're not enjoying the content, feel free to leave a dislike. That's all totally fine as well. Um, there is no um, unit name suggestion. Uh, cutie for this series as you can't name individual units sadly you can name armies but I'll probably pick them out of uh, the comment section here on YouTube as we go in. Uh, Creative Assembly have also provided me with a rather handy pronunciation guide for Thrones um, I'm sure I'll probably still make mistakes so feel free to correct me in the comment section as well uh, especially with things like um, character names I'm, I'm probably going to struggle with that but uh, yeah, other than that, we're going to be playing on very hard campaign and very hard battle difficulty. You have a slider for both in Thrones. Our initial challenge is hard, and our kind of initial directive is to sort of secure our homeland. Playing as Gwyneth, our faction features. Uh, we have General's Followers, Increased Bonuses from Followers, and Legendary Battle Sites, Stand in the Shoes of Heroes Long Dead and Share in Their Glory, Undertake Missions to Occupy Settlements, or Become Allied with Your Welsh Neighbours. We feature very strong spearmen, good missile infantry, and exceptional archers. Uh, so looking forward to getting out some of those Welsh longbowmen. As a Welsh kingdom, we benefit from heroism. Um, Wales is a land of heroes, earn heroism by winning battles, owning Welsh land, and ranking up generals to gain bonuses. We also get plus five supplies in own or allied territory or armies, and plus five unit morale in own regions for all armies. Anyway, without further ado, Let's begin the campaign. Your father united Wales, but now it is divided between you and your brothers. There is a tension between you, all wishing to rival your father's achievements. We have been lucky. The Vikings ravaged the other lands, but left Wales untouched. They crippled the English, our ancient enemies, leaving them vulnerable to attack. With Wales united under your rule, the English will fall before us. Our future is in your hands. Thankfully, your land was spared the devastation wrought by the great army. Even so. There is no time to be lost. After building up your strength, take advantage of the disruption in England to strike while they are distracted and weakened. Prove yourself your father's greatest son and bring victory home to Wales. Your army is ready, awaiting your orders. Attack and defeat the rebel army gathered near your capital to remove the menace they pose. Okay, intro and overview given. First mission has been issued. Eliminate the rebels in a bar throw, and we'll get internal stability, which is plus five public order all regions and plus 50% unit replenishment multiplier all armies. 
Nice. Oh. So there's our army, the White Shields, which we can rename. So feel free to drop a suggestion down in the comment section. And I'll add that in for tomorrow's episode. Army's led by Anaruth. Anaruth. Who is our general, faction leader, and king of Gwyneth. And, oh, what have we got up here? Ah, oh, low loyalty. Wonderful. On these two. What's our influence? It's at five. So actually, okay, what I'm going to do with this guy, because it costs more to secure his loyalty, I'm actually going to try and lower his influence. Perfect. We've reduced it by two. So he's now not as pissed, because, uh, as with this guy, doesn't like the fact that he's got more influence than me. Um, so I could spend more money on securing loyalty, but I think what I'm going to do is give him an estate. That'll drop my influence down by one, and it will actually increase his, but he'll be uh, happier. He'll be more loyal because he's got an estate out of it. So that stabilizes everything there. We can see that we've got an heir, Idwal. Well, that's good. And yet yeah, there's a rebel army facing us over there. Now, we could try and recruit some more units, but the way the system works in Thrones is that when we actually recruit a unit, you'll see we only get 48 of them straight away. They actually then have to replenish over several turns to reach full strength. This reflects sort of the, the mustering of troops to your banner. Um, so I mean, we could throw in a couple of extra spears. I think that might be useful for just sort of countering some of their units. We can only actually grab two more of them, otherwise we'd go over our food surplus. So let's pop them in. Expect new orders soon. And then we'll go after them. The order resolve actually doesn't look like it's in our favour. They've got a unit of Axemen. Okay. Let's jump on in. Go to battle. Hopefully the Welsh dragon will rise victorious against the rebels. A dry day, lovely. We'll start deployment. Archers. Two archers there. Spearmen. We'll pop them if we can behind our spear line. Archers. And then pop our two extra units of levy. Like so. Whack them all on guard mode. What's Take you guys off skirmish out? mode. I'm going to put my cavalry on the flank over here. Because as we can see from... Okay, no, they put their general up this way. Okay, then we'll swap things around. We'll put my cavalry on the right flank to go after their general early. And... Well, we can hold with a full unit over here. That'll be fine. Yeah, that'll work. Let's take a look at our our king. Where is he? There he is. Crown on, ready for battle. Your light melee infantry are useful for flanking the enemy, attacking their missile infantry, or mounting an enveloping rear attack on their melee units. Use them wisely. Okie dokie, thanks advisor. Yeah, I'm going to try and overpower their general early on and break the rebels. I want the actual main charge to come from my scout horsemen, which aren't powerful cavalry. They mainly probably should be used to take on enemy, uh, enemy archers and skirmishers and light troops. Moving up. I don't want to go into their general too early because otherwise we won't have the support of our infantry. Archers go for their archers, nice. Kill 
Here we go. How we do over here? Nice, got a good charging against the jungle. They are bringing their spears over. Nice. Oh, we just managed to break them at the perfect time. Into their archers. Bring my archers round to flank. Get them both into wedge. Trish advisor, it's fine. Oh, they've just broken over that. Nice. The battle is turning in our favor. In comes the cavalry. And that's a win. Woo! Okay, archers will get you guys facing that way and stop firing. That worked out really nicely. Just about managed to deal with uh, their cavalry in time. Surprisingly, most of my cavalry still alive, <laughs> which is unheard of for me. What's going on here? My scouts are after these guys there. I think we've probably taken out enough of them nearly to completely wipe them out in one go. Which would be preferable because then we don't have to fight them again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've completely wiped out all their units now. Just one last left there. And two of them escaping over there. A decisive victory. Nice. 152 kills with my general and 185 with the scout cavalry. Yeah, that worked well. We just managed to pin them onto the infantry line. Get some good rear charges. Only only one of my spears really took a massive beating. Uh, it's not. Oh, seriously? The cavalry survived. Yeah, because we broke them really early, didn't we? I think I'm going to ransom and release. 100 gold. Heroism. Grow your reputation. Nice. We will serve you well. And I'm gonna go for quartermaster first of all. Give us some extra movement range. Every man will do his duty. Oh beautiful. Um <laughs> part of me wonders if it's worth order resolving this or not, cause uh Let's see how bad the order resolve in this game is. Let's go for defensive stance. Will it end up, like, slaughtering loads of my weakened units, or seeing as it's cavalry and we have spears? We lost eight. That's okay. I guess we'll ransom and release. Extra 30 gold. Oh, and we've got a new mission. Rival kings. Conquer... Menevia? Menever Hera I think that's Hereford. Or Herefordia. And... Kermurdin. Mission succeeded. Internal stability. For the glory of the Cymru. Okay. Advance, warriors. Right, well, we'll put you guys back next turn. You're all starting to replenish. I mean, I guess we could mer we could always merge these guys if you wanted to. Um, 
Because it's going to take nine turns to fully replenish. Where are those territories? Is it... Rival kings. Yeah, because I think as much as like the the advisor overview was like, oh yeah, go after England, they're weakened and what have you. I mean, let's take a look at diplomacy. We've got Mercia over here. They actually look quite powerful. We do have a military alliance with Powys. But, to be perfectly honest, I'm, I'm in a way kind of... I'm not sure how long I'd want to keep that uh, military alliance if they were to, say, drag me into a war with Mercia. Because... Yeah, that looks that looks nasty. Can we even? You do not plan to waste my no, time. they are they are not keen whatsoever. So yeah, where are those regions? Oh, they're all down here. We can't. Here, my pronunciation guide. It suggests I try and say this faction as uh, David. Apparently, David. Surely it's David. No? Davit? Well, that's where my mission is, to conquer these three territories and take out this faction. Uh, let's take a look at them. Do they have any allies? No, they don't. The strength rank is 43, mine's 14. They have a long memory, aggressive, dependable in a fight. This is also one of my brothers, I do believe. Um, I think, seeing as we've given, given that mission for them, we're going to try and maybe loop around there. We could also go after these guys as well. I don't think I'll make any treaties with them just yet then, just in case that causes uh, some things. They're a vassal kingdom of West Saxa, or Wessex. My household with your Can we... Come, warm yourself by the fire. Your offer of no, you didn't want my friendship. Okay. What about you guys? Fine talk will follow. You despise the English. Drama queen. Dependable in a fight. That was for some money, do you reckon? Nope. Let us shake up. Let's just secure them up, because then if we are going to war with Mercia, we can utilize some of these guys, perhaps. You're a vassal kingdom of Northumbria. Lay out your propositions, my friend. This seems... Okay, yeah, let's get that going. That's looking good. Ooh, you guys do not like me. You're aggressive, I that's why. You. More than that, I cannot promise. Oh, good. It is always a joy to receive a friend. Ooh. Strathcluth. Strathcluth, rather. Bring ale! We have a visitor. Come on, give me that money. Can we persuade you to accept our friendship? Yes, you can, because you're gonna give me two hundred gold anyway. Both our peoples will be happy with this. Yes, they they very much are. Cool, so we've got friendship with them. You guys don't like Western Ass. They're a vassal kingdom of North Liod. Okay, uh, what about Kirken? Come share the comforts of my household. We agree. I guess we might as well. That's that friendships. Is it? That's not non-aggression though, is it? Or is it this version? I think it is this game's version of non-aggression as such. But we're gonna be friends. We're gonna start working. I mean, it's mainly gives you a boost straight away to. More mead. Fine talk will follow. To public order. Um. Yeah, I don't want them coming across and attacking us. So Let us shake up. let's try and secure as much uh, much friendly. My heart has room for you, and well, you guys don't like the idea of me being friends with you. What about you guys? More mead. Fine talk will nope. follow. Okay, you guys aren't aren't keen. You're a vassal of these guys. You're a welcome sight. Makes sense. Thank you. Right, Alice. Anything else we can do? Is always welcome. This is not a deep nope. They're not interested in that. Okay. Right, attitude wise, hopefully. That's put us on the, the right course with a couple of factions. Just glue are really happy with us. A brother in arms is always welcome. 
But yeah, again, because they're so far north, I don't know if we should bother trying to get a, uh, alliances and what have you with them too early because we'll get drawn into a lot of stuff. I'm going to focus on taking out these guys and then probably attacking uh, this brother. Which one are you? Which faction is that? That is. Uh, do, 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 that's Cecilwick. And that is Cattell. Okay, 24. And then, yeah, Merwin is a, is the king of, of Powys. Okay. Right, let's get building. What can we build? We can build this, which reduces our food production by minus two. Replenishes. <sighs> Pressure chance units in the recruitment pool. That just gives us a better garrison. So we don't really need that, but it will unlock another building slot. I've heard this story hall is pretty good because it gives us plus 10% income. Increase, fame, and public order, and campaign map movement range. That's quite nice. Yeah, that could be pretty good. It's also the market, Tanner. Which gives us a fair bit of money. Market income, industry, toolmaker. Give us better weapons if we wanted to, but it does kill, cost us a little bit. Um, we have got the law one as well. I kind of wonder if maybe we should... Should we keep that? It gives us public order and does reduce corruption. So actually, yeah. Our economy is what I want to try and work on. So let's go for the copper mine. Actually, let me just check. Who have we got as our governor here? This guy. Born governor. Oh, he already reduces construction costs quite a bit. Nice. Bowman. Upkeep costs for missile units. Nice. Ooh, there's a priest one, so that gives them more loyalty. Might be worth investing that in, in a few of them. What candidates have we got? Seafarer. Madman. Malay skill for sword and axe infantry units. And impassioned. Okay. Right, yes. So, let's go for more food. More income. That reduces public order, so let's not go for that just yet. Let's throw that in there as well. Oh, and I've just realised, actually, our public order... Is it seven, isn't it? I wonder, can we increase our taxes? What about that much? Would that upset everyone? We have low public order here. Chance of rebellion is one percent. I think we should we can probably risk that for five turns. That gives us 983 income a turn. What if we drop it down to the next level? 799. Ah, let's, let's maximize it. Let's risk it right now. It's just public order effects. It doesn't affect anything else. Oh, wait. And increasing taxes yields us more... More food production as well. Oh, that is good. Yeah. It means we can actually maintain more troops. Although, that's only temporary, so we won't do that. Yeah, 1% chance of rebellion. I'm, I'm pretty confident we're not going to have to worry about that. Just yet. So, let's end the turn. Oh, hello, Mercia. Or Merce, as I believe the uh, pronunciation guide suggests. Oh! You're suggesting attacking our brother. Well, I was going to go after him after we'd gone for these guys, but you know what? That sounds like a good idea. I will fight with you, Powis. I should probably get my army down there pretty pronto. Although with uh, Mercy on the doorstep, hmm, that might my not be that, that good. Arrow might grow. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. We go for Quartermaster again. Kind of feel... I would like to go for Champion, because that would give us plus two command, which would allow us in night battles. But, seeing as we want to get down south sharpish, let's go for increasing that pronto. Yeah, we cannot, we cannot move far. Okay, yeah, we're now at war with these guys. Uh, they have six uh, units, as far as I can tell. We could just sail on down. Because running on down is going to take forever. 
what I'm thinking is let's head over here. Let's actually merge up these spearmen. So we're back to six. And then let's recruit a few more to go south with. Because, okay, we've got to remember we've only got 20, though. Um, food surplus, ideally. Unless we can really do a lot. Well, actually, we could take the units, couldn't we? Because then we can always disband them. Well, let's get that Valley Spearman unit. Uh, so we get two decent units. I kind of think, like, let's get, the, let's get the decent units right now. Welsh Armoured Axemen and Valley Spears. We could also get a couple more. Another one of you. Could always get another archer, I guess. They don't cost much upkeep. There we go. If we wait a turn here, we'll get a nice amount of replenishment, then we can move and sail on next turn. Just don't like the idea of uh, Mercia over there. May my misgivings at your visit prove unfair. Is improving this tiniest bit. Um, let's open a couple of turns when I imagine the AI starts declaring war. It'll uh, pull Mercia into a war somewhere. Yeah, we want to try and get their capital ideally, because otherwise, uh, won't get much out of them. Or we, well, actually, we could just sail on down and hit that one. I say just sail on down, but we'd need probably a lot more men to hit that. Okay, I think that's what we can do. Um, yeah, we couldn't spend money on anything this turn, unfortunately. Hopefully we can get that upgraded next turn. Maybe even... I oh know we can't upgrade the harbour just yet. We get the law court going. Our problem will be is if we suddenly get a rebellion while I'm away. Is that Mercia trespassing against me? Oh, why Mercia? Why you do this? Yeah, foreign trespassers, the English ravagers. Or revengers, I should say. Coming this summer, the revengers. Not an option. Please don't start attacking me. Because you're going to distract me terribly if you do. Still not at war with anyone. We're improving, though. We're slowly aiming towards friendship. I keep clicking this the wrong way. Got quite a few of them nicely set up. Um, we can't actually get friendship with Come, West Saxon, I don't think. It's intriguing to them. They probably want money. I ain't going to give you money. So, yeah, power's there. No. Doubling up on armies. I'm going to send them through here. Actually, yeah, I should probably see if we can get just realized a military access Remove your traveling cloak and sit down no that's sufficient let's do it you have our ascent. boom and i can finally move through your land because i reckon you're going to take that one before i can get there My warriors will not warriors. off we go we're on the seas oh we took a bit of attrition we're still taking attrition. We Whoopsie. Oh, deep water. Shallow seas. Ah, see oh, seriously, we're that close to Don't shallow seas. I should have now. checked that. That I should have done. Okay, so we need to replenish once we get through there, but hopefully they don't have too many. I might just push straight in for their capital. No chance. Sea forces reporting in. What are our... Options here. Oh, I can't even see what they are. We'll have to wait till next turn. Uh, okay, we're completely out of money. Let's hope. Merce, Mercia. Oh, what are you doing? Don't invade me. Leave me alone. 
your your boggers. Okay, you've gone and taken Lan Pardon. My rank has increased. There it war. My governor, huzzah. So I was thinking about loyalty, actually. Increasing his loyalty. That would be probably pretty good to secure him nice and early on. I do want to go for scribe, though. I think so. Let's just, let's just put priest in there. Because that really helps things. Let's see. Uh... We can go and try and invade that. Oh, we'd be able to land, wouldn't we, behind their walls? The fleet is ready. But we're quite weakened. Do you reckon we could do it, though? Quite a daring move. We can't. Taking to the waves. I think we've got to go for it, really, haven't we? We don't need to siege the walls this way. Let's do it. That's just, let's take a look at the preview of the map. Oh, <laughs> wow, it's a really small little choke point through there to the rest of the city. That's cool, though. Right. We're risking it for a chocolate biscuit. Let's do it. In we go. Oh yeah, I forget. Cavalry deploy on the map, don't they? So that means we need to secure a gateway. So we need to pop our cavalry here. Because we'll need to move... Once we land, we'll need to battle it out for those gates. Let's hide them there, then they can move on in. Oh, that's really cool. That looks good. Nice. I like that. Ships are ready. Just wonder, are we going to be able to actually get all of our troops in there? Probably not. I have to focus these. I don't. I imagine they're going to deploy to counter us, which might cause a bit of a problem. May win you battles that might otherwise be lost. Hills and forests can block line of sight, allowing you to maneuver in secret. Yeah, so they have deployed all here ready to face us. The so enemy tremble before our superior numbers. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be in trouble unless we can get my general in. Got a barricade there as well. Try and get these guys into the gatehouse in loot for in loose formation. Fleet ready. Fleet and I'm gonna try ready. and get the axeman over there as well so we can break through that way. Over it depends how prepared they are for our landing. Apparently we've we've got this. Actually, that should go really well. The ship's taking fire. And the lot of Ships all seaworthy. 
get a move on. Ships all seaworthy. Here we go. Horseman. Axemen. Kill up. up the pace. Up the pace. They're firing on our ship. Levy men. Got a general in as well. Horseman, kick your mounts. Ready and willing. Quick march it is. Levy men, strike hard. Pick those feet up. Red sheep. We are the cavalry. Up the pace. Look sharp. Swift as the wind. Now we're Let's do this. Come on. Our general is under attack. Horseman. Cavalry in the back. Boom. Oh, this is beautiful. What a landing. Go for those archers. Beautiful. Boom. And I just can imagine how awesome this map would be if you're defending against invaders from the sea. You're like fighting it back across these little causeway bridges as well. That's awesome. We hit them from so many angles they couldn't... Uh, couldn't get it, get their defense together to hold us back. Brilliant. Just got to break this last unit of javelin men. Got him. Have they got a unit? Oh wait, have they got a general's unit back here? I know sometimes the AI keeps the unit back. Yep. They must do, because it's saying there's 160 of them left, so they must have a spear unit back. How many have we lost, actually? Okay, a fair few. We're also burning some things. Into the city we doth go. We are the Cavalry.
Love this music as well. Very, uh, very dramatic. There it is. Yeah. Rodri with his uh, spear levy. Trying to walk these guys so that they recover. Oh, most of them have. Send the scout cavalry over here because then we've got a, a view on them. There they are. Got to face one way or another. Currently, they have their backs to my archers. Which are off fire at will, so they're just going to focus on these guys. Absolutely shredding them. They desperately want to face this way because they know there's cavalry. They're doing so. You expose your bottoms to me, archers. See, they flee before our might. We've actually abandoned their square so we can kind of get out and out. Well, we're getting shot at by their towers, aren't we? We're capturing a victory point. Let's get Anarut out of there. Settlement is on fire. Oops. Sorry, not sorry. Kick your mounts. Swift as the wind. That's the way. At a gallop. We now send the cavalry back for a final cavalry charge. Close victory, but we've gained another provincial capital. This is good. 120 kills. Our general. 169 with the scout cav. 106 with the axes. Hang on. Might try and keep them then and get rid of a spear unit somewhere. So there's a fair few kills there. Obviously having the total number of kills at the end, you can now work out friendly fire, although I don't think that takes into account uh, towers from settlements. Kills. Anyway, our army survives, and we're able to occupy. At once. Here is a make your mark. 22 out of 100. Boom. Oh, there's a risk of rebellion there. Yeah, 11% because of the taxes probably being so high. So both of those to repair. You've got a boat haven and a long haul. Not possible. So you can't reach me in a single turn. We will serve so, well. yeah, I'm quite happy about that. It's decent replenishment. Minus two rebellion chance. I think what I'll do is let's just go to our economy. Can we drop it down? Oh, wait, no, then I we'll, won't have enough. Won't have enough food, will I? No, okay, we're going to. If there is a rebellion, we've got an army there to deal with it. You guys, it's only 2%. You're going to get more supplies then, so I can probably knock it down one then, actually. And we can assign a governor as well. Good. So who is low? You are. Who's probably a better chap uh, for governor? None of you guys. 
so far, so that's okay then. Um, your loyalty is low. Sign you. Oh, that doesn't improve loyalty, does it? Estates? There are no estates down here. Okay. Minus two, that's fine. For the glory of the country. Minus ten, mm, ten percent chance to rebel. My warriors will not falter. Oh, that's got a governor in it. Yeah, they're slightly happier. Uh, you're going to get that in three more turns, which, yeah, plus two. So that should actually negate the increase in public order drop there. Okay, that's good. Uh, nothing else we can build, actually, for once? No. Just don't like that Mercy is there. Hoping we can take this uh, other minor settlement, uh, major settlement as well. Because then we'll be able to turn on these guys rather nicely. Okay, went straight through Mercy's turn, so that's good. That's good. No immediate threat or plans from them. Powis going in for the 1-2 POW, and they're also recruiting loads more troops there. They went from like an army of 4 to 12, I think. Natural causes. Ankarad. Oh, a fleet of Viking raiders has arrived. South of Britannia. Oh yeah, they're gonna hit Kent. Rip Kent. Oh, it was our mother. Rip. She was charming, apparently. What's my wife's bonus? She's strict, which... Command, zeal, and loyalty. Should probably give you a wife, shouldn't we? Not my son. About the other ones. Right. Is public order all settled? It's probably just a... Oh, we've got one more turn. Oh, we're down by Tintagel. Like, where the hell are we on the map? It's minus nine, so there's still a chance. I think maybe we should drop things down. Yeah, we've still got 800 a turn. Fine. Don't like that you're just standing next to my territory. Normally, you know, historically, this sort of action from the AI normally means I'm about to attack you. We are Arthur's folk, true of I would love to get in on that attacking action, to be perfectly honest. Never. We can get a couple more units, can't we? Uh, the problem is, what have they got there? So we actually have to build siege equipment. No but we could chance. hope that these guys might support us we can't. If, we can't. if they don't move in to attack next turn. But moving out of here, I imagine there's a pretty hefty penalty to public order. Well, we could get one of these guys and merge up the these guys, but they only need three turns anyway. Because that also is part of the whole of this province as well. I've actually, if anything, taken this away from Powys. It was a good landing point. We will serve you well. For the glory of the country. I went for the armored axes, didn't I? They were, they are good. Oh, yeah, they actually don't provide... Yeah, there's no public order from an army, actually, anymore, is there? So if I move... Oh, if I move you guys. Can we attack there? Probably not. We're in allied territory, so we should still replenish, shouldn't we? No! Cancel. Away to war. Yeah, we'll still replenish. So, we'll see. If they go in for it, we'll pull back. If they don't, we'll make the move in. And hope they back us up. Other than that, can't upgrade anything 
else, so we'll save that money. I mean, we could always raise another army. He's pretty good, actually. He'd be... Oh, he's rash, so reduces command, increases zeal. What is zeal good for? Oh, public order, local own province. Okay, so the zeal does affect public order. Okay, once you build it up. He's got quite a lot, actually. Government province. Oh, he's good. He's a night owl. Fearless. He's also mad. He would actually sort out the public order over here. My warriors will not falter. Yeah, there we go. Command us. Let's pop you in there for now. Yeah, it's not about armies having effects, it's about generals as such. Uh, but we now do have a... Ah, I forgot about the food surplus. Rip. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. We could now whack that up, because it's only 5%. And 2%. One more turn. Then we need to drop things back. So actually, we'll probably have to disband you shortly. I don't know if that will upset you, personally. Being just getting dropped. Every man will do his duty. But we will see, won't we? Mercy moving in with a full 20 stack. But again, no declaration of war from them yet. So are they going into siege? It looks like it. It's like they suddenly lost some troops, though. Maybe they just sacked it. They may have just sacked it. The AI does tend to sometimes do weird things like that. Not just in Thrones, but all Total War games. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure, have sacked it. Yes, they have. Boom. Viking invasion begins. This is perfect, though, because it now means I can go on in and take this myself. With literally, all we need to get is a ram. We can order resolve that. Right, public order is going to be not grand anywhere. So let's drop. We drop it one. Is it still bad? Uh, three percent chance. gives us so much extra money. I think we're going to have to spand you. Is he pissed about that? No, he's not. Probably could do with securing his loyalty or uh, seeking a wife. Do we have enough money to upgrade something? We do. More food is always good. Okay, we won't seek a wife with him just yet. Let's go for that for now, because that's going to cause more public order. Okay, now that we drop things that much, we actually need to lose, annoyingly, two units. Oh, we can get rid of the other archer unit. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. That way we've got the axes building up. Decent 10 stack. No. For now. And that's giving us some, some more income because obviously it's not costing us as much upkeep. Good, 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 good. Have we unlocked any technology yet? Uh, 3 of 10. 8 of 10. Okay, so nearly enough sphere specialists. Good. I quite like the research system in this that you you know you have to actually do things to unlock tech. Oh, we'll get that when we build the the law, the uh, judges, whatever it is, law court, whatever it's going up to. Okay, thank you, uh, Powis, for sacking that settlement and not taking it because it now means I can just roll on in.
Oh, thank God. Thank God. Um, I thought it was Mercia. Yeah, end on the side of, out of the ally. They're going to go take all the regions I need, which means I'm going to have to turn on Powys next. Unless they get smushed back. Mission issued. Capture the following settlement. Arliol. Heroism and... Urian Stronghold. Okay, that's held... What? Okay, that's way up there. But thanks. Has Mercia gone to war with anyone yet? Or are they just chilling in my territory? Oh no, they've got a couple of enemies. That's all good then. And we can get some technology going into leadership. Boom. What that give us? Fame. Oh, and then after that it's corruption reduction. Noise. War fervor. Yeah. Border wars. Lots of it. Public order here. They ain't so happy about it. I think we can get away with... Yeah. We'll fight defensively. Because we've got more range units than they do. Lose 41. Boom. Uh, we could subjugate them, but I would rather own it myself. Oh, that's why they sacked it. Yeah, it's worth a fair bit to sack. Occupado. Faction destroyed. Fires repairing. More food supplies. Please, with your 14 units, smush these guys so I can just uh, clean up behind. That would be ace. Um, what do I want? I kind of feel like a sword unit might be useful. To go into our forces now. Because uh, we need some more offensive units. We've got the axes here. Which are nice. That is an expensive unit. But. It's pretty good. So yeah. Let's throw you in. Start replenishing up. You're unhappy. you got a 5% chance of rebellion. That's fine. At least you've got walls straight away. And the garrison is slowly building up. Oh dear. It's going to take a while. Uh, we need to assign a governor. Governor, Governor, Governor. Um. Just wanted to check. Also, how do I gain more influence? Is it just through... I must be... There must be a, I guess, dilemmas that increase it. I just want to see Zeal. What does that do? Local province. Uh, so that should affect things, actually, by having him as... Is that effective as governor as well? Not quite sure. Let's go for you, though. Oh, you've got five Zeal. Yeah, let's go for you. Four percent. My warriors will not falter. Okay, and heroism out of 100. Noise. Can't build anything else, but that is sorted out. Public order here, very nicely. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Other than that, let's end. Well, yeah, because we can't move out of here today. This turn anyway. Okay, Mercy is going after I think Northumbra. It's good. Oh no. You bugger. Oh dear, you're gonna lose your you yeah, we're gonna lose that. They've done the old uh the old switch on me there. So we can see their army. I'm, I'm not going to try and defend it. Um, quite aggressively. Maybe they'll just sack me. Thing is now it's going to leave that army free to do what it wants. Oh yeah, they they don't like me either. They're not war with me, they don't like me. So I probably should be prepared for them to do some stuff.
Do, do, do. Killed in battle, my governor. Alas. Has a vacancy for a governor. Oh, cool. They just sacked it. Oh, goody. Never. Never. Every man will do his duty. Right. I've got to leave you guys. It's going to upset you. But you're already pretty upset. We will serve you well. Show us the foe. Move out. Well, we've got to get ready to deal with these guys. No. You're going to allow Powis to take all your territory. Never. I think after this, we're going to have to break our alliance with them. Because if we can take out that army, that's all they've got. Then we can literally just sweep north. They do have another army back here. I'm kind of hoping that by the time they know what's uh, what's hit them, they'll be rolling on their backs, crying. Yeah, let's get, finish through Quartermaster first. It seems like a really good one for us. We can't assign another governor. I'm not going to just in case they hit it again. Because quite likely that's another... another little... Although, to be fair, we could use it as an opportunity to get rid of one of our troublesome low, uh, low loyalty nobles. But... No, let's not do that just yet. My warriors will not falter. Yes, we're still relatively weak. We are Arthur's folk, true of heart. I'm not gonna repair anything. I am really hoping that they see the reason in pulling back to defend. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pull back. Finally, Mercy is pulling back. Yay! Good, they pulled back. <laughs> okay. Woo. Wipe the uh, the sweat off my brow. So we can either pull back into well, we can either keep advancing to that settlement and replenish up. Abatefi. Tefi. Yeah, we could either pull into Abatefi no. or Never. move down here. We will serve you well. Thing is, we probably actually want to pull in there to replenish as much as possible, because if Powis are successful, then we've got to get ready to jump on them. But I'll decide all that next time, because that's where we're going to wrap this one up for now, this first episode. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I think we've made a pretty good start. It's actually quite a, I'm finding it quite a challenging start. It's um, quite tense, actually, especially with Mercia up there. So um, we'll see how things continue to play out next episode, which will be tomorrow. And uh, then there will be another upload on Friday, and then it'll be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday going forward that this series will upload on my channel. Uh, also... Uh, in the next few days, once the embargo is down for streaming stuff, I'll also be starting my uh, Wessex series on my Twitch channel, recording it at the same time and then exporting it here to YouTube. So uh, feel free to check that out too. But yes, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.